and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Modern Mondays and today's Modern Modern Monday beer is from Track Brewing in Manchester. Now um, I went to Track's Beer Festival back in August and um, well that's where the, this glass has come from to be honest. This is uh, basically, uh, what is it, well, I think it was Welcome to the Neighbourhood um, 2022 and that's a uh, beer glass so let me get someone I wore out um so track they are Manchester they're owned by a chap called Sam Dyson um basically Sam's background is that um he went cycling around America basically from the east coast to the west coast and on his travels on his cycle on his bike he visited loads of breweries and loads of tap rooms and when he came back to the UK he basically got the book for beer and uh, started to, his adventure down in London and he was in breweries and then he decided to move back to the northwest. He came to Manchester and he opened track brewing under the railway arches at Piccadilly and then in 20, I think it was about 2021, I don't know if I've wrote down, they moved over to uh, Piccadilly Trading Estate where they, they expanded basically and the production got a little bit bigger and then they got a tap room, and that's where I went to their beer festival this year. It was their, like their first year uh, in there, and it is absolutely stunning. I'll have to, I've, I've done, I did some bits and bats on that day, but I've not done the video yet. So I'll definitely get that video out. So yeah, so like I say, they're only, I think they're eight years old. So uh, the, at the moment, they're releasing like their eight birthday beers eight 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 years birthday beers and uh, i absolutely love tracks beers i think they do some stunning beers and their standout beer is called sonoma you can have it on cask keg can mini keg and it's only a pale ale and it, and it's low abv i think it might be 3.8 percent but wow what flavor that packs is unbelievable you, honestly you need to get a can of that um, I may have reviewed it on this channel, I'm not too sure, but it is absolutely stunning. It really is my favourite cask beer, um, by far, when it comes to the modern brewers. It really is, it's superb beer. But what I've got today is Track Half Dome Pale Ale, coming in at 5.3%. So, let's get it open, let's get the aroma, let's see what it looks like and let's get the taste. Uh, bought this from Track, from their uh, tap room. So let's get it in the glass. It's only a, the glass only is like a half pint to a third because it was a beer festival. So we can put some in, give it a swirl, like I say, get the aroma and stuff going on. So there you go, There's, there it is in the glass. Give it a bit of a, a twirl there. That looks absolutely stunning. Hazy, you know, straw, haze color, nice creamy white head going on. Opaque, absolutely what you expect really from the modern brewers. Lots of stone fruit, massive, massive stone fruit aroma, very fresh mango, a ah, little bit of pineapple, more mango than anything, and then you got like peach. And a little, to me, there's a little bit like a sweet strawberry aroma as well there. Nothing offensive whatsoever. That smells absolutely superb. You're getting that little back back note of the malt. A bit like a biscuit, biscuity malt in the background. Oh, it smells really good. Okay. Cheers. Let's get a taste. Sweet, sweet malts backed up by amazing tropical fruit notes. So you do get that mango, but you, and you get that peach, and you're getting a sweet, honestly, it's like a, a sweet strawberry note. It's like a berry. So there's a berry note in there, but it's a sweet berry note. And then there's a little, little hint at the back end. See if I can get it again. At the very back end, there's a little bit of zingy citrus going on. A little bit 
line. Bitterness is well balanced and really drawn back as well. There's no bitterness lingering, lingering, lingering around on the tongue, the side, the back, none of that. It's just straight over and out again. That's stunning. It's a free bees. It's a bee. It's the bee's knees. That's superb. It really is. Let me get some more in the glass. I know that uh, a certain Mrs. B is going to absolutely love this. She really is. <sighs> I wonder if his mosaic in there because it feels like that's the the aroma I'm getting. But that is absolutely superb. looks so good tastes so good well done track as usual you don't let us down you really don't there's so much beer in the can it's going to be hard to read but I'll give it a go I'll see what I can get off the can without spilling the beer um, ingredients just says barley oats wheat hops yeast water doesn't give you the actual hops that are in there brewed and canned at Trap Brewing Co Piccadilly Trading Estate Manchester uh, poor gently may contain sediment well I've not got to the bottom yet and if you are going to have a look at them it's track it's trackbrewing.co and you can find them on twitter it's trackbrewco and you can find them on instagram on trackbrewingco and then that's yeah and it just says designed by AH Creative and that's a can out 440ml can and you've got one of them QR codes as well there. I'm sure that'll send you to the uh, the website but that's the that's the can It really is a stunning beer. I paid £3.80 for this beer. I think it's well worth it, to be honest. It really is. Let's have another oh, Fantastic brewing. It really is. That's superb. Okay. Thanks for watching. Cheers. And I'll see you on the next one.